Hi, good to see you again. It's Graham Martin. I'm the recruitment guy. With a man with a fantastic jacket. This is Steve. This is very impromptu. Steve, I've never met you before, have I? This is not rehearsed anyway. Not in the least, no. Um, Steve's a real life magician. I've been at a, a six year old's birthday party today in Enfield, North London, and I've watched what I perceive to be one of the best magicians I've seen for a long, long time. And I've seen a lot, actually, at charity dues and events. And although it's been for six year olds, actually, the magic has, if anything, got to be better because the kids are only probably five, six away from away from him. So I thought I'd colour Steve and of course we've got a whole bunch of interviews which are about lawyers and accounts but you know what, every now and then I meet somebody that I really want to find out what he does and how he got into it. So Steve, first of all, thank you for letting me colour you. You're welcome. A great jacket by the way. Thank you. So firstly, um, how long have you been a magician? I've been a magician for approximately 20 years now. 20 years? 20 years. And, and how did that start? It's very simple. I was on holiday with my kids and I couldn't afford to keep paying for them to have their faces painted. Right. So rather than paying out, I think it was about three or four pounds at a time for each one, I spent 40 pounds and bought some paints. Right. And started doing it myself. So it's trial and error. And then so, how to get to the tricks? Um, an agent who had given me some work as a face painter said to me, if I learn something more, then he gave me more work. Really? And I enjoyed messing around with the kids in this way, you know, with the face painting. So I started going to a magic club. Right, as simple as that. Now, of course, we know it's magic, we know yeah. it are not tricks, but nonetheless, to become a proper magician, you've yeah. got to go and study, haven't you? You've got to attend courses, and, and how do you do yes. that? Is there a magician school it's, like Hogwarts um, or Harry Potter? <laughs> right, the magician schools are the clubs. There's magic clubs all over the country. Right. And when you go there, then you speak to other magicians, you see dealers, you see lecturers, so, in my time, I've sat through countless lectures. Some of them have been very boring. Some of them have been absolutely amazing. Yeah. They really blow you away. Um, you see these effects. You start doing them yourself. You spend a lot of time practicing on various things. And it just goes on from there. And you told me you had six kids. So I guess over the yeah. years, you said, sit and watch this. <laughs> sit and watch this. Make sure that, you know, yeah. How does it work? I've, I've used my kids, I've shown them my uh, ex-wife didn't particularly like magic, so I didn't get much feedback from her, but the kids I would show them, I'd um, rehearse with them, and I got a situation where saying, yeah, it's good, Dad, can I go out to play now? Uh -huh. um, but I love what I do, and yeah. so therefore I've normally got something on me so, so you do something. So I'll just. So in terms of practice, if somebody wanted to become a magician, to mm -hmm. learn how to become a magician, you know, would you say that you need to spend a lot of time practicing? How many hours a week? Right. You decide what kind of magician you want to be. Mm. You decide whether you're going to be a magician that does manipulation. I do manipulation with a variety of things. Yeah. A sleight of hand. So it's, kind of stuff. it's yeah. sleight of hand. There are some things you can do which don't really need much um, sleight of hand, yeah. or it's self-working. Mm -hmm. um, and people do very well with shows in there. But I prefer the actual magic shows. Let me ask you, who's your favourite magician? My favourite magician is a gentleman called Terry Seabrook. And of course, um, uh, unless we'd actually seen him, we wouldn't know. So not one of the big guys like Darren Brown or Annie Barber or uh, David Nixon, if we remember. Yeah, I remember David Nixon. Yeah. I remember going to a show of his. Um, Tony Seabrook, unfortunately, passed away last year, but he has won virtually everything you can win. So he was, your, he was the guy, if you look at he was the guru. He yeah. was. He's brilliant. If somebody wanted to become a magician, mm -hmm. they, need to, they need to join a magic club. And, and then right. the magic circle, is that by invitation or can you actually apply? Right, you can apply. To join the magic circle you need two things. Well, you need somebody to um, sponsor. sponsor you, that's yeah, right, yeah. and somebody to second you. Right. Once you go to the circle, you are allowed one year going as an associate member, at which time you're not allowed to say you're a member. Right. And then you need to take an audition. Now, the audition consists of um, I believe it's 10 to 12 or 10 to 15 minutes yeah. performance in front of your peers. Wow. Now, the peers... A tough audience. The peers are anybody who is a member. Yeah. So, you mentioned Ali Baba. Yeah. He was there. Paul Daniels. Paul Daniels could be there. It could be David Copperfield. It could be all these... And Ali Baba was your audition, was he? Um, actually, no, he wasn't at my audition. He was in the club 
when I was rehearsing. Ah. And I just happened to be doing one of his tricks. We're running out so, of time. I normally try to get these yeah. five minutes and I find that we always talk for ages on this stuff. Yeah. So, questions for you, me to ask you now is, what's the best bit about being a magician? The reactions. It's when I stand at the front and I know I have got total control yeah. over this bunch of, it might be 10 children, it might be 200. And do you prefer um, children to, to adults as an audience? Oh, it's very difficult. Children are more difficult because they will say, I saw what you did, or oh. something. And that I like because it means I've got to be better. Ah, oh, you've got to raise your game. That's right. Adults tend to, can tend to be a little bit, yes, very nice, thank you very much. Okay. A bit condescending, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Um, kids are honest. Yeah. And I enjoy both sides of it. So when I do my show, because I like both adults and children, when I do my show, I entertain both children and adults. So, what's the worst bit though? You told me a story, you know, whilst we were chatting earlier, <laughs> but, but generally speaking, what's the worst bit if you're trying to encapsulate that in a couple of senses? What's the worst bit? The worst bit, um, I, I suppose it's the child who has been allowed to do whatever they want. Oh, a bit unruly. And gets, no, they go beyond unruly. So, yeah. Unfortunately, some children do go beyond unruly. And when you have a child spit at you, oh, wow. then that is. Oh, that's been the beyond. worst thing. Yeah. That has been the worst thing. Did it make you want to give up for a second? Did you think this is it, never again? Or no. there's always the next gig? No, because of all the thousands of kids. Yeah. That I've just seen 20 children, and and a few adults, and some adults. And I, I don't know about you lot. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I did too. I enjoyed and watching it. Yeah. So long as if I enjoy my show. I know my audience have enjoyed it, because yeah. if they're not enjoying it, I'm not going to find it enjoyable. Generally speaking, how much can a, a magician earn if they're full-time, they've got maybe, I don't know, five, ten years' experience, what would they earn-ish? I'm not asking you, yourself, but generally speaking, in the UK. Um, it depends on whereabouts you are, different places have different prices. Um, a full-time magician can earn anything from 20 up to 70, 80, 90,000 really? pounds, now, now subject to how much work they're going to do. The get. average wage in the UK is currently about 28,000 pounds, so you know, a lot of magicians can earn a lot more than the, oh, the, 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 the average UK wage. Is it hard work? Um, it's very tiring, it's very stressful, yeah. um, it's thoroughly enjoyable. I go out in the morning, if, last week I had three bookings. Mm. And when I got home, I collapsed basically. You really exhausted, because yeah. it's, but while I'm working, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So you're in Kiana, you've got to be there. You're an entertainer, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's what I do. So if somebody wanted to join and they needed to find a, a magic club, do they apply for the Magic Circle website mm -hmm. to find them or look on the internet for magic clubs? Yeah, you can go on the internet, type in magic clubs. Um, the Magic Circle is a great place to go to. Yeah. The, they've got the website. Any information you need, you'll find it. Um, if you get in contact, you can just pick up your, um, go into the internet, find a magician, yeah. phone him up, and they'll help you, they'll help you yes. most, most of us will. Yeah. The Magic Club I belong to, um, I run the website for them, and we get people who will just phone up, they know nothing about magic, I want to be a magician. So the internet, do do? talk to a magician, That's, a magician is a great way to find the starting point. So if we want to find you, yeah. uh, and I thoroughly recommend that you check out Steve, you know, obviously, you know, it's London, Hertfordshire based, I guess, home counties. Mm -hmm. What's your website? How do we find you? It, my website is acemagician.co.uk. So www.acemagician. .co.uk. That's well, Steve, right. that's great. Thank you so much for allowing Thank me you. to interview you and chat with you yeah. today for the audience for the recruitment guy. I've got to ask you, will you tell me how to do the trick with the orange? Yes. But off camera. <laughs> Bye for now.